Hi, today we're doing Unit 7, Lesson 1, Folded Geometry, talking about points, lines, line segments, rays, and angles. But first, we'll start with a joke. What did the acorn say when he grew up? He said, geometry, or G, I'm a tree. That's what we're talking about today. So today we're really working on geometry vocabulary. And the words that we're going to use are point, line, line segment, ray, and angle. So what I would like you to do is either get four, five pieces of card, index cards, or like this, and you can write the words on the back on one side of each of them. Or if you would like, you can get one piece of paper and fold it in half and then make four cuts in one side of it so that when you fold it up, it looks like this and you have one of the vocabulary words on each side. So take a second and do that now. All right. The first word we have is the word point. A point is an exact location in space. It has no length, width, or height. So you see that one point. So on the back of your card, draw a point. And mine looks something like this. Now, oh my goodness, look at all of these points on this page. If I was trying to describe one of those points and I said, it's kind of on the left-hand side, and it's not quite, but it's kind of in the middle. Could you tell which point I'm talking about? Well, mathematicians have a way of finding points easier. They put a label on them. So now, if I tell you that I was talking about point F, could you tell which point I was looking at? Of course you can. So my next word is a line. A line is a collection of points extending indefinitely in both directions. It has no end points. So my line that I drew looks like this. And I make sure that it has arrows at both ends, just like this picture does, because a line goes on and on and on forever. Okay, my next word is a line segment. A line segment is a part of a line. It has two endpoints and includes all the points between and including those two endpoints. Well, what is an endpoint? Those two things are. We see our points at the end of them, so they're endpoints. So on the back of your card, Draw your line segment, just like I have. Wonderful, our next word is ray. A ray is part of a line. It has one end point and extends indefinitely in one direction. So on the back of your card, let's draw a ray. and I can't find mine. Okay. The next word is angle. An angle is formed by two rays that share a common endpoint or vertex. There's my vertex. Angles are found wherever lines or line segments interact, intersect. So, on your card, please draw an angle. 
wonderful. So now, did you finish your cards? Your cards should look something like this. You see my point, my line, my line segment, my ray, and my angle. And if I was doing the folding book, you see how it would be so that now I can open up each section and see those pictures. Okay. So now let's take a little quiz and see what we remembered. Hmm, what is this picture of? Is it a point, a line, a line segment, a ray, or an angle? Did you say angle? Wonderful. Let's look at this one. What do you see? Is it a point, line, line segment, ray, or angle? Did you say line? Good. Let's look at this one. What do you see? Is it a point, line, line segment, ray, or angle? It's a ray. Very good. You see the end point at one side and it goes on and on forever on the other. Hmm, look at this one. Is it a point, line, line segment, ray, or angle? Did you choose line segment? It has those two endpoints at both sides. Mm, what is this one? Point, line, line segment, ray, or angle? Did you say point? Okay, now we're gonna play a game called Simon Says. Um, so stand up and we're gonna make a point. And the point, we're just gonna put our fist out like this, like you see in the picture, okay? Now let's make a line. And remember, a line goes on and on forever. So our hands are gonna be way out and our fingers will be stretched out. That's a line. My line segment has two endpoints, so I have to have two fists stretched out. A ray has one fist and my other hand is stretched out as far as it can go. And an angle, well, an angle reminds me of baby shark. So I can either be like this or I can be like this, okay? So now let's play Simon Says. Simon Says, make a line segment. Are you standing with your both arms out and your fists on both sides? Simon Says, make a point. Did you put one fist up in the front? Simon Says, make an angle. Are you making an angle with your arms? Simon says, make a ray. I have one fist on one side and my hand goes straight on the other side. Simon says, make a line. Both of my hands are stretched out as far as they can go. Right? Simon says, make a line segment. Make a point. Oops, did you make a point? I didn't say Simon Says. This is a game that you can play at home with your mom and dad. All right. So now we're going to leave and I have a little homework for you to do. If you don't have access to the sheet, what you can do is just draw this on a piece of paper and then copy those shapes onto it where they belong. And then right at the bottom, how do you know what is a line? And how do you know what is a line segment, array, or an angle? I hope you enjoy it. Bye.